a boyfriend So you can't go back Please enjoy your party I'll be here <laughs> This is Shakira back with another video and today, today, today I am going to be explaining and teaching you guys how I grew my hair to this length, this length, with this much body, this much length, and today marks year two of my post big child. I haven't even washed it yet. Hey kids, I will mean whatever them things you see it on. Come on, I'm trying to Yo, it was not easy. I'm just gonna tell y'all right now, it is really, really not easy. Natural hair requires so much maintenance and it requires so much attention. You just can't do anything to it. And I really had to learn that the hard way because you know, with permed hair, you can just, you know, go to the hair salon, nail, put the relaxer in, they'll put a little something, something, and then they'll just flat iron it out and you're just good, but with natural hair, you really have to take really good care of it. You really have to memorize your curl pattern. You really have to spend time with your hair to understand what your hair wants and what it needs to be successful when it comes to growing. So, um, first, I just wanna say, um, uh, I got this silk press yesterday and I really did this just to see how long my hair really got in the amount of time that I've been natural. So I am 100% natural. I have not gotten any texturizers. I haven't gotten any relaxers whatsoever. The only thing I got yesterday was a silk press and my hair is still 100% natural. But this is how long it's gotten and I've been natural for two years now. So, the first thing you always want to do when it comes to your natural hair, even if you're still transitioning, you always want to keep it moisturized. I cannot stress this enough. Moisturize, 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 no matter if it's with Vaseline. I don't even know. You just have to keep it moisturized, especially when you have protective styles in. And I really had to learn this the hard way because I was always getting protective styles back to back to back to back to back and we're going to talk about that later in the video but I always got protective styles back to back and it caused my hair to break off a lot and it's more that comes with that but I'm just gonna uh go through the list and I'm gonna explain to you guys I'm gonna tell you guys what I mean by breaking off later in the video but you always want to keep your hair moisturized I use cream of nature I use um Matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all what I use. Okay, so when I have protective styles in my hair, like braids or sewings, of course you know you can't really get through to your hair how you really want to because of the braids and the weave that's in the way. But I just use this Do Grow. Let me see. I use this Do Grow Mega Thick Formula Hair Oil, and as you can see, there is like almost nothing left. Trying to get it to focus okay so yes this here is what i use and it does get the job done when it comes to keeping your scalp moisturized and um that's pretty much all i do when i have my protective styles in i just uh use the dugo and then this jamaican jamaican black castor oil also works really really well i use this whenever I have my real natural hair out because it's really, really thick and it really gets, you know, through the pores of my hair. And I also use Cream of Nature. This is just the hair mask that I use for washing my hair. And if I sound a little different, it's because I'm sick. Um, but yeah, I use Cream of Nature. This is just the hair mask, but if you go inside the hair store or if you look it up on the internet, you're literally gonna see the shampoo, the conditioner, which I don't use the shampoo and conditioner. I use honey shampoo and conditioner. There's the detangler, there's the twisting cream, there's everything. So if you have hair like me, I have like three, four, it's like in the middle of three C, four C and B. It's like in the middle of four and be like it's in the middle i have two different curl patterns and i'll 
insert a couple pictures but those are the main things that I like to use to moisturize and condition well not condition but moisturize my hair and the second thing you want to always always not always because it did break my hair off but you want to get a good amount of protective styles in your hair because it does I cannot stress this enough it does without a doubt help your hair grow but you still want to give your hair breaks in between and that's why I kind of fumbled the bag because my hair really would have been a lot longer I had to get my hair was probably like here yesterday but I had to get a lot cut off due to the fact that I was getting so many protective styles and I was not giving my hair the proper amount of time to breathe and I knew I knew that what I was doing was wrong but natural hair is just so much to keep up with like I don't know what I was thinking I was just like at one point I was really over it I was really thinking about getting a relaxer but I just realized you know you have to take the time to take care of your hair and I think I'm gonna do that I'm not gonna get a perm or relax I thought about it though but you just want to get a good amount of protective styles because although it did break my hair off that was my fault although it did break my hair off it did help my hair grow like I seriously believe that the reason why my hair is the length it is today because of protective styles because that's literally all I get like you hardly ever you see me with my real hair but it's for like one or two days at a time and then I'm back to my regular hair dudes you know like I said you have to take the time to learn your own natural hair and study it and spend time with it but uh, I know a lot of people that get protective styles back to back especially celebrities and they don't let their hair breathe and I don't think it's broken off but like I said, everyone is different and with me, I just have to take time off with protective styles because it does break my hair off. And with that being said, the third thing I recommend for anybody that's, um, for anybody that's going natural or is natural right now, I definitely recommend doing a lot of twist outs and things on your natural hair because the twist outs does lock in the moisture that way whenever you're ready to do something else to your hair, you really won't put be putting too much stress on it because it's already detangled and twisted. That way all you have to do is just take the twist out when you're ready. You can undo the twist or you can do another hairstyle. But twist outs is really a really, really good um, option for moisturizing and taking care of your hair. The last thing I want to touch on is washing your hair. You really, really, really want to make sure you're washing your hair the right way. Because again, I cannot stress this enough, you have to get to know your hair. You have, you have to know how to wash your hair because if you don't know how to wash your hair the right way, you will break it off. And like I said, I've done a lot of things and this is one of them. I used to be too rough when I when I used to be too rough washing my hair and my hair did end up breaking off because of that as well. When you're washing your hair, you really want to be like, you want to think of your hair as a child. You really want to be gentle and smooth when it comes to your hair, especially when you're shampooing it. The shampoo already takes out all the grease and all the oil, so by your hair losing its nutrients and its moisture when you're getting a shampoo, you're going to want to be gentle on it because it's not going to be smooth and all that when you're shampooing it. So when you're shampooing your hair, you don't want to be too rough pulling. You just want to be really, really, really cautious and careful of how you wash your hair and then when you get to the conditioning and the moisturizing process that's when you section off your hair and you start from the bottom and you work your way up to the top if not your hair is not it no it's not <laughs> your hair is gonna respond to how you treat it so you need to treat your hair the right way treat it the right way please treat your hair that's really all I have to say about what I've learned with my natural hair with this past, with these past two years, is you know, you just have to really be attentive to your hair. You really have to take care of it. Learn your hair. I promise it will be fine. And if you are transitioning right now, do not give up. Do not, do not give up because y'all, 
let me tell y'all i used to get leave outs back to back to back to back with sewings and i always used to get it on this side right here y'all when i tell y'all my hair used to be this short and i was still flat ironing my hair he needs some milk My hair was literally breaking off, and look how it grew back, y'all. Look how it grew back. And I'm still shocked at this to this day. Like, look, look, look at this. I would have never thought, I really thought my hair was just over with, done. But, the devil works, but God works harder. But um, if you all have any questions regarding your natural hair or any products I use to take care of my hair, just let me know down in the comment section below and I will really be happy to answer all questions because hair is the topic I really like to, you know, discuss and talk about. I really do have a lot of hair videos on this channel as well as pranks. I don't know, eventually in the future I'm going to have to pick a side whether I want to do pranks or whether I want to do hair or whether I want to start a channel for my pranks and then start a channel for my hair. That's something that I'm really, I've really been conflicted with lately because I really do, I like to do a lot of stuff, but I know in the future I'm gonna have to pick a side and I really don't wanna pick a side right now, but like I said, I might just start two different channels or I might keep this channel and then do something else on a new channel. I don't know, but if you all have any questions, comments, or concerns, just let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to answer it. And without further ado, I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.